here. Renshaw Equator looks like this is a great machine for testing your tolerances. If you're going to be making and manufacturing things, you've got to be manufacturing it within tolerance and within specs. So if someone sends you a part and they're requesting it to be with the 0 .005 micron or whatever, you need a machine like this that once you've got that part finished, you put it on here and this is going to go through and probe every single surface on it and give you the exact tolerances that you just finished machine. Very cool stuff, man. Shaw Equator. We got Nick over here. He's the man. Nick, Nick, Patrick, can you give us a rundown of what this machine would be used for and what it's doing right now? Yeah. So what what it's used for is to verify components, whether whether they're uh, 3D printed or manufactured. So what it is right now, we're comparing the measurements that we're taking off this machine relative to the normal cap. So this is a small shop floor CMM. It's nothing that you need air for. You can take set it on top of a toolbox. It doesn't have to be in a climate controlled environment. Barrister uh, takes an air mass this machine. So the entire volume of that of that machine right now is clocked uh, to about 20 microns volumetric accuracy. Mm -hmm. And repeatability of those measurements are within two microns. Two microns, wow. And how do you attach it to the bed? Is it like hot glue right yes. there? Is it simply yep. simply the hot glue play. There is, there is picturing that we can put on there as well. Uh, at the show, I don't like these picturing. So we can yeah. over here and bump it around on there. Nice. So what, what would someone do? Once they get their part, you just mount it, do your, uh, stage your points to where your start points and stuff like that, probe it out, and then it just does it all on its own? Absolutely. You want to see it? Yeah, let's do it.